Hi again and welcome back. I'm Dustin, co-founder of Mouse Dining, and today we're in part three of a 10-part tutorial series where I'm walking you through how to set up, create, and do all the fancy things with the MouseDining.com account, which will get you your Disney dining reservations uh, for your trip to Disney. So uh, part one, we talked about uh, the, some of the free tools and services we offer with no registration required. The second video we talked about if you need to register, how to do that. And so today we're assuming that you have an account that you're set up and you're ready to create some alerts. So let's get started. So this video, we're just going to jump right in. It's going to be pretty raw so I can get through these. There's several more videos I want to do, but just editing is taking some time. We're going to push right through. So I'm going to switch my screen over and show you what I'm looking at. And we're going to go through this together. So again, today's video is all about setting and managing alerts. And the way to do that is you can navigate to the restaurant. Um, either by searching it here, browsing it here, or using these quick links uh, that will change out here. But let's just say we're going to head to Cinderella's Royal Table uh, for ease. And this is the calendar. Here is where you would click to set an alert because there is currently no availability. Uh, the alternative way is if you know exactly what you want and you don't need to check that calendar, uh, I would just click create an alert, search for the restaurant. Let's search for the impossible Chef Mickey's. Um, on, let's just pick a date in the future, June 18th, view those openings. It says, unfortunately, there's no openings for this date for a party of five, but hey, go ahead and create an alert. So that's what we're going to do now. This is the alert window and let's, let's start here. So a mouse dining alert consists of five key things. It is in, in hierarchy. It is the date, the restaurant, the party size, the meal, and the preferred time. And those five things consist of an alert and, the, and that's more or less an alarm that you're setting and saying, hey, mouse dining, if you ever spot something that matches this criteria, please notify me. And so uh, notice that I use those distinctions. The alert is kind of the alarm details that you set and tell us to watch for. And then the notification is how we will notify you when we find something. And so alerts are uh, tied to your account type. Free accounts get six, monthly subscribers get 50, and annual subscribers get 100 simultaneous alerts. Um, but keep in mind, those are simultaneous. So you can rotate through those once you get a few other dining reservations you're after, just create a bunch more. Uh, the important thing to note about notifications is those are what's unlimited. Those are not uh, with number. Those will continue to send you notifications no matter what. And those don't cost you or you're not limited by those at all. It's just the actual alerts or the alarms that you're setting for mouse dining to notify you. Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, let's just take a quick look at this and how to navigate this window. And there's some functionality built into this that makes it a little bit easier. But um, I'm gonna go th with my party of five. And again, we're gonna search for the impossible uh, Chef Mickey's breakfast. And I'm gonna use any time. Now it defaults to that, but the important thing to know about any time is that any time is tied to the meal. And so this is basically saying, Anytime during breakfast for five people, notify me if you find something for Chef Mickey's on Friday, June 18th. And so you can kind of read backwards on this, but uh, if you wanted to be more specific, you can choose a preferred time. And that little asterisk, this is small text, but it reads, you'll receive alerts within 60 minutes of your preferred time. Select any time to expand your search to all hours. So those all hours are, again, specific to the meal that we're choosing. But if I were to say, I want 9 a.m. breakfast at Chef Mickey's. That means mouse dining will suppress any alerts that exist before 8 a.m. and after 10 a.m. So you will only be notified and get those notifications if, it, if we spot availability or dining reservations become available between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. And so there's some strategy that I'm going to talk to you about in just a moment, but let's stop there and, and just keep moving forward. So I'm going to go ahead and create this alert and I'm going to set it for any time. So when I set that alert, it's going to say it's confirmed. And at this point I can go back to the restaurant, view the alerts, or just quickly set another one. Well, let's say I'm going to be on the parks for a few days in a row. I want to set another alert. 
Well, rather than having to go change the date, I can just click next day, set an alert for the 19th, which is a Saturday, set another alert. Let's try for Sunday, set another alert uh, next day. Let's try Monday. And now I've set four alerts, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, to try and get breakfast at Chef Mickey's for any, any breakfast hour. Um, so at this point, let's go ahead and view those alerts. You can click that button here or from the home page or any page on the website, you can always click this alerts button up here. Okay, now I've got these four alerts and they're all here. And at this point I can manage them or essentially cancel them. Um, currently you're unable to edit that particular alert, but you would just need to cancel it and then go re-add the correct one if you needed to change a party size or a preferred time or a meal, for example. Um, the other option is, you know, say your trip's all done or you had a whole bunch for Chef Mickey's and you finally got one, you can just remove all alerts and then you can move on to the next restaurant. Okay, so we're gonna jump back to strategy like I mentioned before. There is some strategy or even some prioritization I would describe as, as using your mouse dining account to get the most out of it. And that is, there's two types of people I've, I generally see. There's those who want dining to fit into their current plans and then there's those who make dining the plan and then let their day flow around that. Uh, I'm telling you now, if, if you allow dining to be the priority and plan your day around the dining, you'll have a much easier time finding dining reservations than if you're very strict on the dates or meals and very much so if you have a very select specific time you wish to dine at. Um, because at first, my strategy is to go broad and just see what's available. Um, use mouse dining to get the maximum visibility into availability for a particular restaurant if that's really high on your list. And so like we did with Chef Mickey's, go you know four days in a row, you really want breakfast, but let it be any time. You know, and that could be, you know, 5.30 in the morning or as late as like 10.30 in the after, or 10.30, in the morning and that's i know that's a big span but you can usually kind of plan around that and the the second part to that is just get a dining reservation in general at the restaurant you want it might not be the right meal or date or exact right time but just get a dining reservation initially because you can always once you have that initial dining reservation narrow your search at that point so at that point then it may, might make sense to keep alerts active only for specific dates or specific meals or if you've already got the, the the your ideal date and and meal just narrow it to a very specific time and i know everybody on the planet earth would like to dine at like 6 p.m but those dining reservations don't move very often um, what you're going to see a lot more of is like the 4 p.m. and the 9.30 p.m. and later dinners are going to be what you get a lot of alerts for. And so snag one of those and then make a, make your plans around that, but then keep a, an alert active to try and get a more ideal time. And so set one or two for preferred times between, say, 6 and 8 p.m. so that you're in a in a better hour. And those are just some tips uh, to help you prioritize and strategize how to use this, these limited number of alerts on mouse dining. Um, but typically I would say try and get those that you think will open up first so you can get the dining reservation for the restaurant that you want and then move on to the next one. And then once you have dining reservations everywhere you want, use those remaining alerts and time on your subscription or before you go to just narrow those down and get more preferred or more ideal times for you. Okay, so let's let's actually see this in practice and do this together. And so I'm going to go back to our Chef Mickey's example. In uh, we use the same dates, June 18th through the 21st. And so initially, you know, it might look something like this, where we're you have you know four or even six alerts. I'm going to go ahead and just recreate these real quick. Okay, so now we've got the four alerts from the 18th to the 21st. We can view those and confirm that here, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. And let's fast forward a week or two and say, we received several notifications, but we're finally actually able to secure a dining reservation at Chef Mickey's for breakfast on 
June 21st, but let's say it was like at a not ideal time. It was like 11 o'clock in the, in the morning, which is pretty late and you just want an earlier start that day. Um, what I would do at that point is we've taken up four alerts at this point. Uh, I, we've gotten the one, so I'm going to remove all those alerts and go back um, to Chef Mickey's. And here, now that we've committed and said, I have dining reservations at Chef Mickey's on the 21st, I just want a better time now. So I can, I can, I can really start to plan with that and work with that. So I'm going to actually uh, create another alert and leave this alert active. But let's just say I want that, you know, seven to 830 time slot. So if you choose 730, that's going to show me and notify me only if something opens up between seven and 830 uh, AM. And that will allow me to get an earlier start in the day. But I, I'm choosing 730 because it's a two hour window. Uh, forward or back or a one hour window forward, one hour window backwards, but the earliest time available is seven o'clock. Um, but if we set that alert, we've now just freed up, uh, three of our alerts. We now have the one and we'll continue to get notified if that shows availability. And if we get it great, we can, you know, get a couple hours of our day back. But if not, you, you're already confirmed to be dining at Chef Mickey's that day, even though it's not the ideal time that you want. But at this point, now you can go move on and say, hey, you know, we've got Chef Mickey's. Let's try Be Our Guest and say, hey, we want Be Our Guest. Monday's meals taken care of. Let's say um, we still want uh, lunch at Be Our Guest on Friday, Saturday or Sunday. And so... This is just kind of one way how you can, whoops, I already set that one. You can maximize those limited number of alerts to just still plan your whole trip, even with a, a limited number of alerts. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, of course, if you have your own tips or anything else, please comment below. So if myself or others view the video, uh, you're helping them too. Uh, but that this was just a, uh, it was a lot to get through and thanks for sticking with me. But uh, I just wanted to push this video out because it's taken too long already to get these done. But uh, those are just some tips and tricks for the very core service of mouse dining. And so uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, pricing and subscriptions. And so, you know, if, if you're getting alerts now and you're not responding fast enough or uh, you're still getting a little bit frustrated, upgrading to a paid subscription might offer you some additional benefits or conveniences again, as I call them, uh, to make that easier. But uh, I'll talk about that in the next video. Finally, if this was helpful in any way, please subscribe or give it a like or a thumbs down if you absolutely didn't like it or didn't think it was helpful. That just helps me know what what I'm doing, if it's, if it's working, if it's not, if it's helpful or it's not. So I appreciate that. And with that, I'll sign off for this one and see you in the next one. Thank you.